Hello friends, we are headed to Houston, Houston, Alaska for a big bang. One of our goals here at This Alaska Life is to show you fun things to do around Alaska no matter the weather and time of year. Houston, Alaska is about an hour 15 minute drive north of Anchorage. It and the surrounding small communities are a great place to recreate year round. Just to name a few of the great things about this area, there are tons of lakes, snow machine trails, dog mushing excursions, and the Alaska famous Gorilla Fireworks, which is our first stop of this weekend's family adventure. Are all of those containers The really fun part about this is reading all the names of the fireworks. They have such a good selection here. Can't wait to pick some out to set off while we're on our little trip here in Houston. Mom, we should get these. Look at how big those are. Special round. $16,000. Mom, we should get that $4,000, $4,000 special can firecracker. No, $16,000. We should get the one that's called One Happy, One Crazy Grandma. No, it's one. No, it's no we should get Zeus. Whatever, you want to read some of them? I want the Excalibur. You want the Excalibur? There's, there's one called. One bad granny. One bad granny. <laughs> One bad granny? Where is it? I want to see it. Is it over there, Weston? Come show me. So much fun. Where's the bad granny? Looking at all these fireworks can be really overwhelming, especially with four excited children. So Sam with Gorilla Fireworks took some time to explain the main categories to us that can be found at this stand. First, we have artillery shells. These give you a big bang, but you put in one mortar and get one big break. Next, we have the boxes in the middle that come in 200 grams up to 500 grams where you light with one fuse and it's your own little show in a box with 25 to 50 different explosions that go up at different heights, but you do it all with one light. Next, we have rockets and Roman candles where you light them once and it shoots off one to 10 colored balls of light. And then of course, there are lots of different kinds of sparklers and your classic firecrackers. Next up there are fountains which are boxes where you light them once it stays on the ground but it is like a fountain of fireworks instead of a fountain of water. Last of all some ground fireworks these are a little less expensive like helicopters, spinning tops, funny things like pooping puppies and ladybugs these are all really fun for kids. So many choices! We're gonna, we're gonna put on a big show this year. We're really excited. If you can't tell, the kids are stoked. Our fireworks allowed where you live in Alaska. They are only allowed on certain days, but we are going to make sure that we are being respectful of people around us when putting off these fireworks. There were just so many fun ones to read about, so many different types. These packs that were on the top give you a lot of different things in one big pack. In the end, we just ended up getting a wide variety of fireworks from every category so that by the end of this video, we could have a good understanding of what each type of firework looks like, which ones are fun, which ones give you the most bang for your buck. So stick around and we'll tell you which ones were our favorites at the end. All right, careful guys. I gotta load this up. This stuff is heavy. We're gonna have so much fun. Oh, Here, hold, hold these real quick. All right, we gotta fit this big mama in here. Everybody no, the big, got the me. king. The big king. Everybody got tanks. Three fifty-six. Oh my gosh. Everybody. Once you get into this area of Willow and Houston, there are not a lot of shopping options. But one thing they do have is a Three Bears, which is a local Alaskan-owned store. It's like a mini Costco. This is an even minier version but it is helpful. Oh, there's a small airplane flying over. That <laughs> seems to always happen when I film outside. We'll just go in and take a look. We, Mark needs some fishing bait because he's going to be doing some ice fishing while we are out here. So I'll show you a little bit what is at this Three Bears. So they got a big liquor store. Automotive. 
So it's more like a bit. This one is more like a large gas station. <gasps> this is the coolest thing ever. You. Oh. That is really cool. 99 cent yeah. refills and the and first fill is free. Oh, can I get a $1.93. Do they have the mugs? Oh, these are kind of fun. Can I get it? Alaska, the last frontier. All right, they got some Alaska coffees here and some Alaska made popcorn. I did a crunch. Northern Lights, wild blueberry, Klondike caramel corn. Now we have a little fishing camping section. This really is more just like a gas station on steroids, isn't it? It is. Oh, but they do have ice fishing poles, they so they do. know what people <laughs> might need when they come here. The boy, uh, or Weston was like wanting to grab one of these. And it's like, we have six already in the bucket. What did you find? Well, I found some little cured salmon eggs. I was hoping we for some, some night crawlers, but. We get some hot dogs or some dog food. I have hot dogs. Oh, oh here's some salmon roe. Yeah. Salmon roe, roe, roe. All right, they do have some food here. Water. Oh, we got it. We got the beat. That's what oh, we and now we gotta come. Uh, tractor beam. <laughs> now we found what we really this need. This is what we really want. A beet do, fridge. Do, do, do. Oh yeah. Okay, mealworms. No, we want this right here. So. All right, we got the bait. On to the Airbnb. You better get in All right, we're here. The boys have already gone inside because I told them I said the code out loud. Oh my goodness, it's nice. Oh, here's a nice little entryway. Hang all our stuff. Oh, this is this is smart. This is a good little area for all the snow gear. This is Alaska inside knowledge. That is very smart. Wow, this is serious staircase. This is nice. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is nice. This is nice. Oh yeah, you can totally see the lake. Lake out there. Be careful, boy. Got a bedroom. And Laundry room. Oh, yeah, this house is pretty new. This is very new. And another bedroom. Oh it's got radiant floor heat. I can feel my feet are just like warm underneath. It's nice. Oh, I want to show you how much weight I am on this. Okay, you show me how much weight you are. And a shower. All right. Go back. No bath, that's okay, we don't need a bath. After we checked out the Airbnb, it was time to unload the van and bring everything up to the main level, get everyone's bags put away, and get the food put away into the refrigerator so that we could start dinner. The boys also enjoyed looking at all the fireworks and deciding which ones they were most excited about, reading all the names, and just getting really excited about our upcoming fireworks show. You know I brought my chopper with me. I even travel with this thing. I love it so much. For dinner, we are making some moose steak fajitas and fresh pico. It's gonna be delicious. And if you're new around here, cooking typically turns into a family affair. And yes, Mark is cooking and playing chess at the same time with Weston. He's amazing like that. Oh, 
All right, while dinner is cooking, Mark is manning the stove. I'm gonna share with you our firework haul. Everett's gonna show you his favorite one and then I'm gonna give you a haul. Just a real quick haul. Show us your favorite. I get this show too, from my his half favorite too. This mini tank and these. Okay, so his favorite are the alien UFOs and these mini tank. the mini tank. Okay. From the mass, we have uh, little shells or shells inside. Okay, let's start with this. This is Rock and Grandpa. This is a fountain one, so these just kind of go up a maximum of 40 feet. But you light it once and then they go off. These are some rockets. Uh, I really don't know what anything is in here, but this is called the King, and we are so excited. It's got some artilleries. It's got some shots. It's got some, it says boomers. I, I don't know. There's just so much in there. Uh, these are artillery shells, so you put them in um, a tube, and then they shoot off. There's six of them in there. So these ones are legally the largest that they can sell in the state of Alaska without some special permit. So these are like maximum boom for all you know, we can get. We have artillery shells and these are like a lot smaller, but these are the biggest that they can legally sell. These are some gigantic sparklers, which I'm really excited to check out. This is a small fountain. It's called Flippin' Awesome. She said this one's good for like in the driveway just for a little performance fountain. I feel like we're gonna become kind of like experts about fireworks after we do all these. This one's called Skull Force, and she says you have to pay attention because they go off sideways. You have to have it, it says, for best viewing, please place this towards your audience. So you gotta pay attention to the directions. Same with this one. Bug Eyes, 86 shots, 41 shots, highest quality. Then we have a third one down there, which is called Rough Crowd, and it's got 25 shots. So these three are similar type where it's like a show in a box. And then me. Okay, Everett's gonna share with us this one. Yes, it has... This one, I think, is has us all most intrigued and excited. Yes. Take off the lid. Look okay. at it. Okay, this one's called Take Me to Your Leader, and it flies up yeah. and explodes in the air. And then flies up one, and then another fly... 100 feet. Oh, and then explodes again, or what? Explodes again. Okay. Ooh, I think it's gonna be exciting. Then we got a lot of little fun stuff that's just gonna be really, we're gonna be really, yeah. ca really, really careful. But this one's glow sticks plus sparklers. We got these ladybugs. Ladybug. Not sure what they do, but I think you light them on fire and they kind of fly around. Uh, we got a poopy puppy. Something comes out of that one. His he looks so weird. Some Texas pop rockets. You stick these into the snow and then light them off. We got some flying butterfly rockets. And then these are little fountains you can hold on to and do like a little fountain. And then these are disco flashers. I remember these from last year. They just flashed really bright. And then uh, just some firecrackers. And I want to show you guys something. Some little ball. Crackling balls. Oh, and this one, blazing farm animals. Showers of sparks out of these we have a tank little battle. chickens. Have I a little tank battle. Okay, who's excited? Me! You're excited, Westy? Yeah! No, I'm not excited. I'm Are you excited? I, I'm not excited. I want to do it right now. This is one of our favorite games. It is called Build Z. Um, you have these eight blocks. Four people can play, eight people can play. There's tons of different kinds of ways to play. You get these stacking challenges. This is easy, these are harder. Or you can play with these cards and you race each other. Excuse me, Everett. 
Uh, one thing I love about it is that you can just kind of play really quickly and then different people can join in, but this is a favorite of ours. Highly recommend it. Be the first to build your tower. All right, after dinner, the kids are so excited. We're gonna go out. Oh, they're leaving without me. Oh, they're leaving without me. We're gonna go and try out a couple of the fireworks, just some sparklers and a few little things. Just, you got Everett in the sled? You all right there? Okay. This is mine. Okay, Hunter. All right, so you guys clearing off a spot where we can do stuff here? All right. Back to my bomb, Everett. Well, actually, this is actually our kind of loud. It's loud, it's, it's just a light. show how massive they are. Like stand with your hands and feet across. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, it's almost, it's big. almost six feet across. It's kind of a workout to get up the stairs. Like you have prom photos. Oh gosh, no, no, I didn't mean that. I'm not going to go. Yeah, no sledding down the stairs too. <laughs> please, please. Is that fun? Yeah. Oh. So coming up the stairs, there's like a 15 degree temperature difference from down there to up here. All the hot air comes up. It's really nice. Oh, if you ever wonder what we do with all these goodies that we get in boxes, we save them for times like this. So we brought our box of goodies with us. We're gonna have a little movie night, so we're gonna pull out some of these sour candies and let everybody have some. So thank you, Michelle, for sending us this awesome box of goodies. We are really enjoying it. Thank you, I really like this. Yes. Yeah. These look so good. I love you like you are in my family. Okay, there's a little treat. Yummy. All right, that was a fun preview for us of the uh, fireworks. We had to make sure we have the rules down for doing fireworks safely with kids. And now we're gonna watch a movie. So. Thank you for spending time with us. We'll see you again tomorrow for some ice fishing and the big fireworks show. All right. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, mm -hmm. our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright I'm making it up to share, so if anybody wants to see me You and I, we got it Because I just pushed it once and I turned off We don't need no Side and through.
One below zero and off to go ice fishing. Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful out here. You know, it's cold, it's beautiful. How deep it is, and how many, if there's any fish down there. That's heavy. 13, well, I don't know. Are we going to set up here or set up? Wherever it go underneath. Come on down. Okay, pop up the top. Yes, there you go, good. Thank you, Hunter. You're doing good. Shaky. It is, yeah. It There's like some fish. You see something? Oh, yeah, I brought it to the surface. I was that close to pulling it out of the ice. Oh, oh. oh you got one. Oh. Come on, is it good? Oh, my reel is seized up. It's a decent one. Watch out. It's a good rainbow. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I, oh, my gosh. The reel is like so she's done. No, no, no. So bad. Oh, yeah. Hey, stay down low. Oh, my goodness. I have to get down lower. That's a nice rainbow. Here, you want to hold it? Or? That's a nice fish. Watch out. All right, look at that. Nice little rainbow trout. I think I saw a bigger one. Though. Did you? Okay, let's put it back in. Well, that's good. Awesome. Like usual, Hunter gets our first fish. All right. 10 30 in the morning and the sun is beautifully coming up behind me time to get the tent moved over the holes and warm it up Hey, I see a fish or something at 10 feet. Let's see if we got our, where's the bait? Looks like there might be a fish down at 10, 10 feet. We're gonna get fish in here. Boys are getting comfortable. We've got chairs and bench to sit on. All right, now I had to take off my jacket. We got in here, it's nice and warm. I'm like sweating and the boys are seeing fish. So this is great. Yeah, I'm sweating. I got it, I got it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. See if there's an ad. Oh, you're right, this reel yeah. is coming. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's taking out line. This is sweet. Wait, wait, wait. This is tight, go. actually. Let go. I want to There's multiple. Guys, there's more fish down here. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really sweet. Cool. Yeah. Look at that. Nice Hi. rainbow trap. Hey, boys. Okay. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, Hunter. Oh, whoa. whoa, that's a big rainbow. Whoa. All right. Nice fish. Oh, oh! That was Wait a minute, is it taking out like real, real, real? Real, real, real! Oh, sweet! Oh my that's goodness! That's a huge one. That one's even bigger than the one I got. That, I think that's a char. Okay, stay back, Hunter. Oh, Hunter, okay. stay back. I can't even see it yet, but it's to. Oh, wow! Okay, want me to grab it when it gets close? Hey, you gotta tighten up the drag. Let me tighten the drag. Okay. Oh, it's out! It's out! Is it? It is. It is. Ah! It popped out. Oh, popped out of the hole at the hole. That was huge, Bennett. That was a rainbow. Oh man, sorry. I didn't realize when you. Oh, that was huge. Oh well, this is exciting. Actually, nice fish coming on. Fish cars, man. Make me a cake as fast as I can. You can. Patty cake, patty cake. Toss. Roll it, mark a wish that, E, and fold it up for every day and me. Yay! Okay, where are your socks? Do you have socks down here? It is about 
negative one degree outside today. So we are really bundled up with our long johns, fleece, snow pants, double socks, gloves, actually double gloves. I have these gloves and then I have my wool mittens. We're just really want to make sure we stay as warm as possible. Mark does have the ice fishing tent up so that it is nice and warm in there using the buddy heaters. Oh, my nostrils are freezing. The hairs in my nostrils are freezing. That's when you know it's cold. Sun's coming up over there. It is a little bit after 11 o'clock. We are definitely into winter. Sunrise between a 10 and 11 and sunset before four o'clock. One thing that amazes me about frozen lakes in Alaska is these spaces that are kind of limited to use unless you have a boat during the summer become this like open field, this open playground during the winter. Line up. You coming? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Take me to the ice shelter. Hello. Oh, don't push on it. F, F, F. We gotta unzip. Can you unzip it for us? Thank you. How's it going? Good. That's a big fish. You caught some big fish? Actually, yeah. We uh, Bennett had one that we lost right at the hole, like really big. And then uh, Hunter caught a really nice one. We've caught a couple others. I caught one. And it's been great. It is so warm and toasty in here. Good. It was it was so cold out there that the ice auger, the propane, was like congealing and it wouldn't run hardly at all. I barely could get these holes in. And then I had to stick the propane bottle in my thing. So we got 15 feet here. Oh yeah. See, they just come in these little schools and all of a sudden you kind of... Oh, that one's got a fish. That's got a fish over there, Hunter. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at that that's a big fish. And this is not even half the size of Bennett's. Oh, there you go. Wow! It is so warm in here. I'm having to shed layers really quickly. Hunter is in a short sleeve shirt. It's negative one degrees outside. And how? What do you think is in here? It feels like fifty, sixty. Yeah. Especially if you're standing up. And if you're next to the heater, like me. Oh, up here. And we turned off one of the heaters. So this heater, I just turned it back on. These are from Costco, and then they can connect. To a small propane tank, or if you can, a big one, and that's what we're doing here. They've been so we helpful. We scrimp on heat. They have been. We, we didn't want to scrimp on. We didn't want to scrimp on heat, so we brought the big 20-pound tank and just we gotta survive pump through. it out, have fun. Weston and I are gonna head off on another adventure. You're gonna have to check out our next video to see what we're going to do. But we're gonna leave these boys here ice fishing, and we're both gonna have a lot of fun today. And I want you guys to. Guess what I'm saying? I said something. Um, I think you said I love you. No. Bye. I love you. Bundle back up to go out into the negative one degrees. It feels warmer now that the sun's out. It probably is. I could check. Yeah, but it's it's not, not going to be more than eight or nine. My nose hairs were freezing. That's how I know it's cold. <laughs> okay. Have fun, guys. We'll see you in a couple hours. Okay. All right, Lauren got back from her adventure and we have some classy DiGiorno pizzas cooking in the oven. I actually think if you're gonna have pizza in the oven, DiGiorno's are my favorite. And since Sam's Club isn't here anymore, I don't think we've had these in years. So when I saw them at Walmart, I was like, yeah. DiGiorno. DiGiorno. Ooh, those look good. We were out on the ice for almost four hours there. Had a good time, caught probably almost 10 or 11 fish. Our oldest son, Hunter, is a fishing fanatic and he is still out there in the ice shelter. You can, you can see the ice shelter out there on the ice. So he's putting in the effort. Hopefully we'll get another evening fishing session after uh, we have lunch. Mmm. Oh, crushed. Put it's going to burn you if you eat this. This is hot. We gotta let it cool. All right, it is 3.30. We came back outside and... Oh, bit it. Oh, wow. We, uh, we came back outside, kind of stretch your legs. The sun is already setting behind us. We figured we got to get back outside before it's nighttime again. And uh, we're going to go for a walk. Let's go to the lake, boys.
I checked the weather before we came out. It said four degrees outside, so. We often get asked how we get our kids out when it's so cold and things like that. Uh, a couple things. One, we make sure they have the right gear. Sometimes they're all game to go outside and excited. Other times we just really have to encourage them along the way, but we know once we get out, they all end up having a good time. It's just the fresh air is so good for them, even in the winter time. So proper gear and just doing it as a family. All of us getting out. Sometimes I don't want to get out when it's cold, but I find that once I'm out, I always have a great time. We have our 3.30 sunset here. Hunter is out skiing across the lake. I think kids learn by example too. So if they see us bundling up and getting out and doing stuff, they're more likely to do it. If we just try and send them out, which is sometimes what I want to do, um, they're not as inclined to go sometimes. Other times they are, but um, these type of trips push us all to get out more and just do something fun and can't beat this view. It is so pretty. Hunter's out. Hopefully we can find Hunter. He's out there skiing. Yeah, he's there. Oh. He's fun. I can't believe it's 3.40 and the sun is going down. The sun goes down early, but we have our fireworks show to do tonight. We are not doing it here at the Airbnb. We are going to go back into Houston. The laws change depending on what time of the year it is. You can do fireworks here um, on New Year's Eve. We're wanting to make sure that we follow the local laws. And so we are going to go back into the city of Houston to do our fireworks. We have permission to do them on somebody's property and we can't wait like we're so excited we've got some cousins coming to enjoy them with us and just packing a lot into this day it's just good to be out it's good to remember that you can still do fun things even when it's cold even when it's winter uh, fireworks in Alaska in the summertime are kind of like Wah, wah, wah. even on the 4th of July because it just doesn't get dark enough. So winter fireworks is what we get to enjoy. And this has become a fun tradition to get some fireworks. Everett's on his little walkabout over there. Hey Hunter, can I see a ski? Can you come ski by me? Hunter's testing out his new skate skis. Excellent. Last year, we could not find skis for Hunter. We tried and tried and tried. So this year they had some his size and he is ready for ski season. The temperature seems to be dropping a bit and it's very clear, so fingers crossed. There might be some northern lights tonight. Maybe we can come out here and see. One thing we noticed when we were going to bed last night is it's so quiet out here. There just was no noise. So quiet. You opening up a snow cone stand? Later. Later? I need more stuff. I should have brought some flavoring. Oh. All right, we are getting back in our gear to go do our Show. Yep, those are little Everett's little toes. We're doing double socks because it is cold. It's, it's, it's colder than zero. It's colder than zero. We put on these snow clothes on and off about five or six times today. But that's part of the fun when you're. No, it's hard. <laughs> it is. It's just, part, well, it's not part of the fun. It's just part of the reality of it. Okay, let's go, bud. Snow suit. Pinky up. I can't do it with my pinky. Stand up. Let's do that. Okay. That one better. Firework time. Yeah. All right, it's firework time. We're here. Mark is gonna be in charge of the fireworks show. Yeah, I'm Should trying to figure out how to turn all this into a display. We're gonna be safe. We're all gonna be sitting back over there about 100 feet back so that we can be a safe distance. Mark will have one kid at a time. 
sometimes help him, but we're just ready for a good show. They're down at the other end. Woo! Oh, here we go. Hey, watch out, it's going. Rockin' Grandpa. It has 500. Oh, here we go. This one shoots 500 rockets. Okay, watch. Okay, see, let's see what happens next. And they're showing the sun. Uh, here we go. It's so That Grandpa's rocking. They were going higher. <laughs> this is just a fountain one. Where's your rock and roll? There we go. Woo! Oh! <laughs> I thought the rock and roll was when you got rock and roll. Yeah! It's really bright. Not that bright. Woo! Now we can see Grandpa rocking on it now. Yeah! Let's run up. That is wild. How can they? Like that one? How does? I got. You like that one? How do people get crazy? Yeah. Anticipated, they take me to your leader. All right, let's see it. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is the one I'm most intrigued by. UFO was coming to take over us.
it was called like Rough Crowd. Unfortunately, it got so cold that my camera refused to keep working even with a fresh battery, but we did have a great time with the sparklers and firecrackers. It was such a fun time, but we have to remember to bring a blowtorch next time for lighting the fireworks because it was so cold, our lighters did not like to work properly and gave us a lot of trouble. So now that we tried them all, we can tell you about our favorite fireworks and what we will be buying in the future. We love the boxes, had the 30 to 80 explosions with one light. They made it so you really could enjoy a good show. The artillery shells were really fun because they have a big bang and spread, but with it being so cold, it took too long in between lighting each shell individually. The small ladybugs and UFOs and the pooping puppy were all a huge hit with the kids. We also loved all the fountain boxes for a show down low to the ground. Overall, they were all amazing, but the show in a box, the regular sparklers, and the fountains, we think are the best bang for your buck. All right, it's eight o'clock. We just got back from doing fireworks. We are going to make up some salmon stew, salmon chowder. I cut up some vegetables. My cameras stopped working because it got to be negative four outside and it was cold. And every time I turn them on, they just like turn right back off. So Mom, you know what? let's make some soup to, so everybody can warm up. Hunter's making himself some hot chocolate and he's gonna use his marshmallow stir stick. It's like as big as the mug. Bagels and smoothies for breakfast this morning. Uh, we did not go out and look for the Northern Lights uh, after dinner. <laughs> Ended at like nine o'clock. Uh, Bennett put a movie on and I fell asleep on the couch. So here we are. breakfast it was time to clean up the Airbnb and pack up all our bags get the van packed up and take a really quick family picture before heading to church in Willow it was another cold clear gorgeous sunrise on our drive to church which is only a mile away from our Airbnb in this awesome 
Lincoln Log style building in Willow, Alaska. We had a really nice church service before making our drive home. Thank you so much for spending this weekend with us. We are so grateful for each and every one of you and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. All right, we got to an overlook. We're gonna, I think we can see uh, Denali. So I can see Denali up there. When I see Denali, that's uh, some people call it Mount McKinley. It's the biggest peak in North America up there. It's, and then, you can see Denali, and then there's Mount Four Acre. And Denali is, I think, 22,000 feet, and Four Acre is a little bit less. Frosty morning. Oh, man, that's beautiful.